Chapter 3 Cute Girls Battlefield Kamaru, is that really you? I knew it. You're... you're Makoto, right? Mr. Makoto Naegi, right? What? Why are you being so formal? That's weird. Mister? <laughs> right? You're safe. I'm so relieved. I was worried the whole time. Same here. I wish I knew you were alright. I mean... I thought you had already died. Oh, Makoto! I'm so glad you're alive! I'm glad too, Komaru. I thought I'd never see you again. But I'm relieved to find out you're safe. Yeah. Hey, what about Dad and Mom? Are they with you? Huh? I see. Then you don't know either. I was hoping that you would. Then... You don't know either. But, but it's gonna be all right. Don't worry. I'm sure they're just fine, wherever they are. But you have no proof of that. They could be. There's no proof they're not okay either. So let's just believe in hope for now. Yeah, if you say so. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's funny. I never thought I'd hear you say something like that. Guys, I'm smiling so much. I am glad we get to see Makoto here. Really? Well, being positive is like my only good point. He also looks older here. I like that. But more importantly, where are you right now? What's going on over there? I I'm at a building called Toa Tower. I, I was told I could use the communication device here. Oh, wait, that reminds me. Why are you answering? Uh, what do you mean by that? I mean, I called Future Foundation. Why are you the one who responded? You... you really don't know? Don't know? A about what? I'm with Future Foundation, Branch 14. That's my division. Toko, is this true? Toko? Wait, what? Toko is there with you? So did she just, like, sneak along without permission or something? Or is she doing something wrong? <laughs> what? You got a problem with that? You disappeared! Everyone was so worried about you! <laughs> worried? Like anyone would actually care if an intern went missing. You know I would never stay behind on a mission like this. Especially with Master going. So you tagged along without orders. Well, I figured that was pretty much what happened. Wait, hold on! You two know each other? That's why Toko knew about me from the beginning? Yeah, she... didn't tell you that? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Did I not? No? No! You very much didn't! Yeah, that sounds like Toko. Anyway, I'm glad you two are together. I'm just with her because I have no choice. Your whiny little sister balls when she's alone. I, I still don't get why she didn't tell Kamaru. So basically, I'm just a babysitter. I guess this will prepare me for my future with Master. Hey, hey! I wasn't bawling! Don't listen to her, Makoto! So, where is Byakuya? Master is... safe. Safe, but captured by the enemy. Just as I thought. Future Foundation's intel said as much. I just didn't believe it. I mean, Byakuya? Captured? He was probably taken by surprise by some fiendish cowards. There's no other way. Ugh. The son of the noble Togami family brought to the position of a mere hostage. Sounds like the situation is pretty serious. So serious, the world is gonna collapse. The ultimate affluent progeny is in danger. Ultimate? Oh, yeah. Byakuya, Toko, and I were all classmates at Hope's Peak Academy. Wait, you... you didn't know that either? No, I didn't. Well, now's the time for your brother to explain it. Here's your chance. Now you can show off your utter lack of presence with your brother complex. Uh, 
I do not have a brother complex. I don't really know where to start. We weren't just regular classmates. We were trapped inside Hope's Peak Academy during the tragedy. We were forced to kill each other. Our classmates. Who? A lot of our classmates ended up killing each other. Right in front of our eyes. Even after all this time. The memory. The despair. I can still feel it. It wasn't just some movie or game? It wasn't a movie. It was reality. It actually happened. And it was all broadcast live as part of the tragedy. The mastermind behind it all wanted to spread despair throughout the world. They wanted to show the whole world, the students of Hope's Peak Academy, the symbols of hope, falling to despair and death. Well, no chiming in with a remark this time? But wait, you two are still alive, so... Yeah, we were able to defeat the mastermind who planned the killing game and survive. Of course, we couldn't save everybody. And after that, we left Hope's Peak Academy and went into the outside world. But outside, it was more horrifying than we expected. It was easy to get discouraged. But by supporting each other, the friends who survived hell together, we moved forward. Soon we came under Future Foundation protection. We chose to lend ourselves to the cause, to fight against the remnants of despair, who are still trying to spread despair to the world. Right, Toko? <laughs> oh. Toko, are you crying? Of course I am. Remembering the suffering and heartache. I see. I didn't know about that at all. I never thought something like that was going on. But you guys are so amazing. I gave up immediately, but you guys... You guys fought. I confronted the problem. I guess that's why you've changed. No, not really. I was always being saved by everyone else. Hmm. You saying that? Your brother got so hyped up from being declared the ultimate hope. He was always dragging everyone along, so eager about everything. Hey, I wouldn't say I was hyped about it. Oh, but you don't deny the dragging everyone along part, huh? <laughs> Jeez, take it easy on me. Makoto, you've definitely changed. You too, Komaru? What do you mean? I haven't changed a bit. No, really. You really change. Might be weird for your little sister to say this, but you seem more mature now. Just from this conversation, I can tell you're more reliable than you used to be. Well, I don't really think so, though. But me? I haven't changed at all. Not since my imprisonment. Listen, about that. There's something I need to apologize for. Huh? Apologize? The reason you were in prison there, it's because of us. Yeah, I kind of figured that out after every every one of those um, hunting ground things had somebody related to one of the people in Hope's Peak. Obviously, everyone was being held there as like a hostage for something. If we weren't chosen by the Mastermind, you wouldn't have ended up like this. What do you mean? You aren't the only prisoner in Toa. With you is everyone who is relevant to our classmates. In order to make us commit murder, the Mastermind abducted people relevant to us and tried to use them as a motive. We managed to stop it before it got that far. But the theme was killing among loved ones. The Mastermind was going to force us to watch you kill each other, to make us really lose all hope. The video of you, our family, being abducted was used for motive as well. But that was just the beginning. The Mastermind was planning something far more cruel. In the end, the Mastermind was swallowed by the despair, and that motive was left unused. But even after that, I was still imprisoned. Probably the doings of the remnants of despair 
trying to succeed the Mastermind's will. Because of them, we were totally in the dark about where the captives were being held. But a few days ago, Future Foundation received an anonymous tip. We were told captives from the killing game were being held in a certain apartment in Toa City. So that's why Byaka and the others were at my apartment. But because of those rioting little brats and their machines, the plan for saving the captives was scrapped. And even Master, the protagonist, was captured. <laughs> Makoto, you've already heard the ones causing the riots here are Monokumas, right? So, did you figure out what the deal is with these Monokumas yet? No, we still haven't figured that out. Huh? Jeez, Future Foundation's useless. The Monokuma riot starting at the exact same time as the rescue operation. Strange. It's not strange. It's obvious that this was a trap. Like I said, it's no coincidence. It's conspiracy. Someone's setting up Future Foundation. Then that would mean the tip was a trap using the captives as bait to lure us there. The captives aren't just bait. They're targets for the massacre game the brats are playing. Massacre game? They make hunting and killing the captives part of their little game to taunt us. Wait, does that mean the captives are the ones wearing wristbands like mine? Obviously. <laughs> then Yuda and Hiroko and that man with the computer, they're, they're all captives? Yes. There are people close to us. People who were imprisoned in Toa, just like you. Kamaru, what you just said, is it true? You're involved in this massacre game too? Y yeah. They put a wristband on me and now I'm being chased by these weird kids. That's... And one of the brats who started this sick game said something interesting earlier. Something about big sis Junko. Junko? You mean Junko and Oshima? Junko and Oshima? She's the mastermind behind the school. No, she's the mastermind behind the tragedy itself. And she has huge boobs. Big boobs, too? Junko and Oshima is known as the true ultimate despair. She was our former classmate. Didn't you say earlier that you already defeated the Mastermind? Yes, Junko Enoshima is dead. But it seems her memory is still alive and well. Even in death, Junko Enoshima continues to influence the remnants of despair. She's become a martyr to them. Now she's even more trouble than when she was alive. It's like they worship her. Like some big-chested despair goddess or something. We did defeat her at Hope's Peak Academy, but, well, lately, I've been thinking she must have foreseen this possibility from the very beginning. Listening to you guys is... I just can't believe it's all real. Yes, her big boobs are indeed real. Oh my god, Toko, let it go. No, not that part. But I get why you think this is all just fiction. Crazy kids are... Killing adults, you know? Yeah. Things are just so messed up here. Makoto, hurry up and get over here. Because of the wristband, I can't get out of the city. If I leave without permission, it blows. But Future Foundation can remove the wristband, right? So please come save me. Kamaru. You can't. Huh? I, I can't. Can't what? Oh, here we go. Why would Toko... Oh, you know what? I bet... I bet... That... The kids told Toko that... She can't let Future Foundation come here to save her. Or Byakuya gets it, huh? I'm betting that's that's part of the the game. Why do you think they're holding Master hostage? They don't want Future Foundation to interfere. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Like taking hostages during a bank robbery. Master Byakuya is being used as a deterrence. 
Meaning, if Future Foundation came to this city, Master would be... Then... Future Foundation won't come save us? Then what am I supposed to do? Didn't I already tell you? There's no other way. You have to fight against those kids. Get rid of them, and you can save yourself and Master. Th that's impossible! No, it isn't. You have Master's gun, and I'm with you too. But, but I... I can't take this anymore! I just can't do it anymore! I'm not from Future Foundation or Hope's Peak. I'm just a normal girl who can't do anything! Whatever. Do you know how many Monokumas we've killed with that gun? We might as well go for the gold. Kamaru! Makoto, please! I'm begging you! Come save me! Hurry, please! I told you, you can't! If they come here to rescue you, Master will be executed! Makoto, you better not come! If you even try it. I... I will... I will kill your sister! Toko, I'm down. Makoto. Come on. Makoto, hey, what happened? Makoto. What is this? Why all of a sudden it? Out of battery. No, it can't be. That must mean they found us. Uh-oh. What? They're going to trap us. We gotta hurry and get out of here. But I haven't finished talking to my brother. We can't get through anymore. And it doesn't matter anyway, no matter how much you talk. As long as Master is in their custody, Future Foundation cannot come to this town. But if it's Makoto... At least it's gonna be a bit brighter now. Uh, that little brat! I'm... I'm sure she knows how to get out of this place! Let's try following her footprints. This paint... the hacking gun can see it, right? Dark! So dark! Me. I thought it was a Monokuma. I hear Monokumas all over the place. It's dark anymore. Now 
Neko Neko Maru. Neko Maru. Grand Boy Cherry Ludenberg. It's cute on the outside, but inside it's all slimy and yucky. If you let your guard down and get too close, it'll eat you. Lure it out with gyoza food and burn it to ash with a fire attack. It might look like a cat, but cat food doesn't work, so pick the right food. Go inside the washing machine and get some sleep. where the exit is, right? T-t-tell me! Uh-huh. <laughs> an emergency staircase right here? Thank God! Truly perfect for an emergency like right now! Let's hurry and get out of here! Toko. Hey, Toko. You better listen well. If you wash black clothes too many times, the color fades. But there's a way to combat this. It's a simple method. First, do the laundry like you normally would. Yes, do the laundry like usual. But before you rinse it off, add just a little bit of beer to the water. Oh yes, I will. I'll add beer, anything. And just like that, faded clothes can be fully restored. What? <gasps> I'm starting to get better at doing laundry. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now I can be the perfect lifestyle for master. Toko, get a hold of yourself! <laughs> what? What happened? Emergency exit, but it's blocked. That brat! She betrayed us! A little more and I would have blown up! I don't think she was our ally from the start. Sh shut up! This is your fault! Why is it my fault? You're the one who said you wanted to contact Future Foundation, and now this happens! Thanks to you, I got caught in this damn trap! Take some responsibility! Responsibility? Ugh, who cares? I don't want to hear your excuses. I just need some light, yeah? Oh, light! More light! More light! Oh, it is slightly brighter mm. in here. Yeah. 
one, but did did that block off all the <gasps> If you have something on your mind, share it with the children around you. Don't get involved in other people's business like making fun of them for reading manga. Don't even try to remember what life was like with the demons. Anybody who breaks the rules will suffer the punishment stuffed under the kon kotatsu in summer. Oh yeah, that way's blocked. Well, I hope I didn't miss anything. I apologize if I did. Ah! The light! The light! <laughs> Are you okay? No, I'm just happy. Well, you didn't have to scream about it. But still, it's good that we're finally outside. But now what do we do? I'm sure there's a way to get down. Sparkle. Oh yeah, I got um star body. Oh. I don't need to slow down the speed. So good. Nice. Alright. If we fall, we'll be squashed into jelly. We have to walk carefully. <gasps> Safe point. 